G'day there, this is Paul, the Mystic Guy, and thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can automate messages being posted into a uh, message area on Mystic, an echo mail area for argument's sake, and it could be uh, an echo mail area that's designed to um, receive automated posts. So if we go into the demo bulletin board, I'll show you what I mean. Um, on FSXNet, which is our little network we've been doing these demos with, there is a area that's been set up for automated robot or bot posts. In other words, you know, the machine's doing the posting, not you. And you'll see, and I've just loaded a few of these posts in before we got started with this video, that there are um, systems that are using this to post messages in that are obviously not from a human, but they're from a uh, piece of software, like in this case, the first choice bot has been posting messages about files that have been received um, for a number of networks actually and um, putting that message into this bot area. Likewise if we scroll up a little bit we might find that there is a um, here's one here which is the FSX Usenet gateway this particular um, system is posting traffic data into this uh, message base this echo mail area so this is all cool stuff, but if you wanted to use it to promote your own uh, bulletin board or anything else that you're wanting to, to post into a message area like this, how do you do it? I'm glad you asked. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fire up my trusty Notepad++ and we're going to dive into the mutil any file, which as you know has, or at least I hope you do, has a number of functions that you can call. And on the screen at the moment is just the default mutil any file. And here are all the functions. And the one that we're going to focus on today is this one here, post text files. Now, my advice to you is create a separate any file that's just going to deal with this function, just like we've done for the mail in and mail out and the maintenance functions, uh, rather than have a huge any file with lots of functions in it that you're never going to use. So what I did is I initially just I paired it out just into this one here, which I'll show you. So I've got a file here which simply just has the post text files uh, function sitting there, uh, my logging details, and then down the bottom here, this is the default stuff that ships with the post text files function. So first things first, if you're going to use this function, you're going to want to change this function to true. Otherwise, when you run this any file, it's not going to, um, to do anything. And then you get down into the actual post text files. And the first thing you're allowed to do is choose how many text files you're going to be posting when you run this function. And for each time you um, are posting a text file, you'll see there's a substanza here with the various settings that you need to set up. But the key thing is, see how it says file 1, file 2, and if we were going to do this again, we'd have to copy and paste all of that and make those uh, prefixed with file 3, and then we'd change the number of files in total we were posting to 3. But for now, I'll just stick with 2. Then, if we just take a look at one of these uh, definitions, the first line defines the actual file name that it's going to post into the message base. The next line defines the base index number that we're posting into. So just to explain that further, if we call up uh, the... just wondering if I've got it running here. Here it is. If we call up the uh, Mystic config side of things and we go into editors, message base editor, then here on the screen you'll see a number of message bases and the key number that you want is the ID number, the, the uh, message base index number. So for argument's sake, if we look at the default out of the box thing, it's assuming that it's posting something into message base 2, index number 2. And then you can see it's saying it's from the SISOP. You can say who it's to, so you could change that to something. You fill out your subject field. If you are posting into an echo mail area, then you really want to be able to update this and uh, put your address in. And then lastly, whether or not, once it's run this function, whether it's deleting this text file or not. And then it's uh, rinse and repeat, and it does it all through here. 
Now what I've done just to try and make it a bit easier for you is I have created an any file which I will just open up in the mystic directory and it's called announce and on this any file you'll see I've stripped out all the old functions and I've got the post text files equals true and then I've got my sort of logging information which is consistent across all of the any files and then when we get down to this section this is where it gets interesting so now I'm going to post two files and I'm going to post them into a uh, message area called uh, the FSX bot which was this um, message base here automated robot posts this is looking at it from the back end but you see how it says 192 well that 192 links back to this here so I'm putting it into base 192 and you can see that I'm going to run this twice but the first time I'm going to post in something a file called fsxnet advert and it's going to be coming from the SISOP and it will be addressed to all and it will show a subject of fsxnet zone 21 and it's coming from my um, setup uh, node address and it's not going to delete the file and then straight away after that it's going to post a separate file called systems.fsxnet into the same base it's going to go from red72 which of course is our sort of test SISOP name that's the uh, system operator of this uh, test system we're playing with it's going to all and this time round the subject will be connected systems and again it's not going to delete the file um, just so you can see the two files so I've got a file here this is the um, advert text which is just a little bit from the FSX network it's just a plain text file and it's been saved in the mystic directory likewise I've got a second text file which is a list of connected bulletin boards uh, as of the 18th of December 2016 and it's slowly but surely grown which is kind of cool to see and that's also just a text file sitting in the mystic directory so let's make it do something uh, first thing we need to do is get out of this I'll just leave this um, config screen up and running but I'm just going to call up a command prompt and I've got my mystic screen here so if I go mutil announce bang it says it's run the post messages process and it's posted two messages done in 0 0.03 of a second it's pretty quick if I open up my log screen and I go into my mutil uh, logging file and I come down to the bottom here so here's the key bit you can see that it's actually run a process here where it's posted two messages into that's the message base there 192 and you can see that there are two different subjects it's clearly posted two different things and hopefully those two different files so let's go have a look at what they look like when you're logged in as a user and if I come back and find the right uh, screen get out of here so now you can see in the automated robot posts echo base echo mail area I've got two new messages and what do you know one's called FSX net zone 21 from a SISOP and the other is the connected systems so if I view that you can see that it's posted that message in there it is there all of it and if I go to the next message again there's the other text file and that's been posted in now this is great um, but I do want to draw your attention to one little fishhook that I've discovered recently and it doesn't necessarily pertain so much to Mystic but it does uh, have an impact on other bulletin board systems that are taking messages that you post this way and trying to import them into their systems. Now when you post a message into an echo mail area every message uh, has a message ID that's sort of created in the back end and if you press the V key on the screen here you'll see that it's toggled on a kludge which is sort of like a hidden um, field that gets shipped with this message and you'll see here that it's saying that the in the message ID it was posted from system 21199 and you can see here there's the message ID itself 49926264 c now that's just a sort of unique um, ID if I just move to the next message with the clutch still switched on 
you'll see in this case it's got exactly the same um, message ID and that becomes a problem for some systems because they see this as being um, the same message sent twice and so they usually import the first message but the second message gets kicked out of the system and is reported as a dupe, a duplicate. And what I've found is that when you run this system, this um, Mutil uh, post stanza, it's posting things immediately but it's creating um, messages with the same message ID. And that becomes, as I said, a bit of a problem sometimes for other systems uh, because it sees what is effectively two different messages as the same message. How do you get around that? Now, keep an eye on development in Mystic, but this is the way that I've approached fixing this little uh, scenario at the moment. What I did is I created, instead of just having um, one uh, any file with two files being posted and there they were there like we started with I chopped that up into two separate any files for starters so I've called and here they are here I've got announce any one and it's just posting one file and it's posting the the advert for the network and then I've got announce any two which is exactly the same kind of thing except it's posting uh, that other the second one so hopefully you follow me there. In other words, what was one any file is now two separate any files, each posting one message, and still configured in the same way. Uh, oh, you just need to be careful here that you make sure that in if you're splitting this up, instead of having uh, file one and file two, of course you're only posting one file, so they these ones all become file one on both of those innies. I hope you follow that. It's just uh, it's a naming convention. You, just, you can get caught out with that. I did. So now I've got two any files, and if I was to automate the posting of this, if I if I run it in a way in a batch file that they just get run one after another, I still find that the same message ID gets posted, and um, that's not great. So what I did is I wrote a little batch file that looks like this. And this one just simply uh, changes directory to the mystic directory. It runs mutil, announce one any, but then what it does is it, and this is a Windows 7 batch file, so if you're using um, Linux or otherwise, you'll just need to customize to suit. But this says timeout five, so it just basically waits for five seconds, and then it posts the next any file and then it goes to done and for done I've just got it pausing so that we can see that the process runs and then it exits the um, the command screen. Now just having that five seconds in between each of them is enough to generate two separate message IDs because I think the message ID creation of each message is done uh, in part based on the time of course that you're posting the message. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So I've got a, oh the batch file I called um, post it and I just dropped it into the mystic directory so if I go post it you'll see that it's running now it's posted one three two one seconds posted the second and then just waiting for me to press a key now which I'll do and it closes the window if I escape out of the uh, bulletin board message view that I'm looking at and I'll just reload the index reader You'll see I have two new messages now. So there's the original two there, 25 and 26, and now I've got 27 and 28. This has still got the the, um, the Kludge view on, and you can see that this version of the message has got a uh, message ID with a unique ID number 49926382. If I go to the next message, the ID number is now 49926384. So there you go. That just toggling between the two of them that changes um, the ID number simply because you've got a batch file rolling along that happens to be posting um, things sort of five seconds apart. The V key is your friend if you just want to check uh, the clutch lines when you're looking at a message base in Mystic because you can just toggle it on and off. Pretty cool huh?
So that is just a very quick overview of how you can post files in an automated sense into an echo mail area of your choice. It doesn't have to be an echo mail area, it could be a local message base, uh, although you will never see some of those uh, kludges and things that I talked about because they're, they pertain just to echo mail area type bases. And generally it's the uh, automated robots post echo mail area that you'd want to do this in. That's, uh, it's bad karma if you start posting automated messages over and over into uh, a human area where people are generally chatting away. So at the moment you can see we've got people talking about Christmas, which is um, a good thing because as I record this, Christmas is just around the corner. Radio. With that, I will leave you to it. Thank you, as always, for watching this uh, video. Please like the video and um, like the channel if you like what you see. And my thanks to to uh, Alan, uh, aka Hawk, who's provided some theme music for the Mystic Channel. Which, if I'm recording this right, using some new video editing software I I bought, uh, you might be able to hear underneath the the, um, the narrative as we go through this video. Have a safe Christmas. I might record one again before Christmas, but until then, bye for now.